Hello and welcome to L8 Tips. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going through connecting Grand MA2 to L8. Uh, the MA protocol is only available when you've got hardware and in versions currently media and above. So if you are a CE user, unfortunately you're still restricted to Artnet and SACN. Let's begin. We're going to start with MA on PC. We're going to jump in quickly to MA on PC and we're going to make sure that number one, we've got parameters. So I'm using a couple of uh, nodes, uh, MA nodes. So you need to have MA parameters to do this. The nodes were very expensive. Uh, I'll never financially recover from buying them, that and the MA3. Uh, and once we've got that, we need to make sure that we know the IP address of our computer that's running MA or the desk. So we are looking to see the IP address here. So we can see that it's 192.168.10.110 and we need to configure that in L8. So if we go into our L8 folder for a second on our uh, L8 machine, we look for the grandma underscore IP document and we make sure that we key in the following information. So because we're using a version that is newer than 2.9, we want to use the 2.9 rendering engine and we want to make sure, sorry, parameter engine really, and we want to make sure that our IP address is correct. So it was 10.110 and we want to make sure our session number is right. So our session number was number one and we can just go file and save that and then we'll come into L8 where we've got a nice little stage set up here and we're just going to come into DMX and make sure that uh, the universes that we want are set to Grand MA. So we'll set them to Grand MA and we'll make sure that the universe numbers match. So I've got one, two, three and four already set and we're going to click apply and save. And then we're going to quickly jump into MA on PC again. And we're going to make sure that we've got a session started. So if you're using a command wing, you can use the loopback address of 127.0.0.1. Uh, but in this case, because I'm using a couple of nodes that we can see here, two NSPs, uh, we're, uh, we're needing to use an external IP address. Now let's quickly jump into L8 again and we'll we'll run through our little show. So let me just drop the, the lights. And we'll see down the bottom that we've now also got an IP address, which means we're receiving Grand MA data. So if we uh, just quickly run through our little show file here. Uh, nope, that's uh, that's not meant to be there. Uh, here we can see some PIX pads. So we've got some PIX pads mapped here. And we can also do some really nice patterns off them as well. But that's pretty much the process of connecting. So most people obviously just have missed out on setting the little text document correctly. But hopefully this very short video has been helpful on connecting Grand MA2 to L8 in versions media and higher. Thanks for watching.